All right, so today I'm gonna to be working on a project that I've been wanting to do for a super long time. And I can tell you that I moved out of my house in the city um, maybe, I guess it was seven years ago, maybe eight years ago. And when I moved out of that house, I had a sycamore tree that was growing in my backyard. It was ginormous. Um, and I used to collect the branches because they have this like cool, different colored pieces on them. Like sometimes you would look at it and especially in the spring when it's wet and the bark would look different colors and you can actually see even underneath because there's no bark left on this except for like right here. You can see that it's um, all different colors. And that bark is, is like this too, where it's like you've got like brown or gray, dark, and sometimes even a greenish color. So um, this needs to be sanded and varnished. And while I'm at it, I'm also gonna start working on um, some eggs that I've been working on. Um, and I'm gonna varnish these because varnishing is one of those things that for me um, is all, kind of, it takes a long time. It doesn't take long to do it, but it takes time to dry. So I like to varnish a bunch of things all at one time. So that's why I'm working on my eggs here today as well. Um, I've been making these. My granddaughter and I played hide the bunny yesterday. It was really fun. It was, uh, we hid it in various places in the house. And we, you know, one of us would go in the kitchen and the other one would hide it in the living room. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sand quickly and then I'm going to varnish. And then um, when I'm done, I'm gonna come back and talk to you about um, painting. But before I do that, I'm just going to do a really quick, on this one, I'm going to sand some of this bark off. And this is just a stick that I picked up in the yard. It was many years ago. If you pick one up now and it's wet, you would need to give it a couple of days to dry. But this is certainly something that if you have paints available, is it, or even you could wrap it in string if you have like um, thread or you have colored rubber bands, you could just put it on here um, and make uh, an art project with this. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, and I will come back. I'm going to show you really quickly the process. I'll speed up the video. I won't talk. And while I'm doing that, and then um, I will show you what's next. This is just, by the way, sandpaper. I, I always have it on hand. I'm going to go destroy anything. try to use as little as possible um, for the environment's sake. And what I have here is something from Liquitex. Um, it is a matte varnish, which is what I would put on the underside um, of uh, the paint because I don't want it to, um, I don't want it to be shiny. Um, and what this does is it covers the wood so the paint will absorb better. Is really sticky. I don't use a really good brush. Um, I use one that is older. It's not doesn't need to look pretty. It just needs to be covered so that um, the whole surface is covered. When I do raw wood like this, I always make sure that I cover every bit, even the ends. Okay, I'm all done. I need to make sure that I put the varnish brush into water and this is a water-based varnish. So it will dry off. I don't need a lot of chemicals, which makes me happy. Um, and so what I will do is rinse it really, really good before I stop. And it's not a great brush, so I'm not too worried about leaving it in the water. I'm gonna stop the video and next step will be painting my stick. <laughs> 